Hello world, it's Mark from Codacy. Today, I want to give you a quick tour on how Codacy keeps your code safe and clean and catches quality drops before you merge them. But what is code quality anyway? If you've ever built a dirty proof of concept, you probably know what I'm talking about. The problem with the sledgehammer approach is that you will gradually build up technical debt along the way. It's like swiping dust under the rug. Sooner or later, you'll have to deal with the mess. Now, many of the things you do today already help with that. You do peer reviews when someone makes a pull request. That's quite reassuring. But you know that takes time. And of course, the more experienced you are, the more people will ask for your help. And at the end of the day, even the most experienced coder is prone to error and bias. Then you have linters like ESLint, CheckStyle, and so on. They're pretty good at catching problems while you code, but when you have a team working on a wide stack of technologies, how do you really make sure nothing slips through? And if I asked you, what's your code quality? Where do you go look that up? That's where Codacy comes in. Codacy is the easiest way to plug the best-in-class analyzers for over 30 languages right into your Git repositories with a single integration. If you haven't done that, definitely give it a try. It only takes a minute to add a repo and get your first scan results. Once you've got your quality baseline, Codacy will keep checking every new commit and pull request on the fly, just like another peer reviewer. Let me show you how that works. Take a look at this GitHub project. You can see that I have a pull request with a failed check. That's Codacy sparing me some embarrassment. You can also see why that happened. Codacy left an inline comment for every issue I was about to merge. If I click on the issue, that's going to bring me to the same pull request on Codacy, where I can drill deeper, understand the suggested best practice, and use shortcuts to create JIRA tickets or ignore false positives with a single click. Now that Codacy keeps an eye on my code, let's go back to our question. What is my code quality? The best way to see that is here on the dashboard. Codacy keeps track of the most important code quality metrics, issues, complexity, duplication, and code coverage. And for every one of them, you can see where it's at today and how it's evolving over time, regardless of how many languages I'm using here. On top of it all, you get a single quality grade for every repo, which by the way makes a nice GitHub badge, as long as it's an A, that is. Now, if you're not too worried about maintaining a nice code style, I have good news for you. Codacy's engines can do a lot more. Down here, you can see what types of issues you have in your code, including things like error-prone code and security vulnerabilities. Those are things you definitely don't want to miss out on. Of course, with tons of different languages and frameworks, there isn't one size that fits all. That's why you can fine tune based on your needs, which analyzers and rules you want Codacy to run on your code. If I go to code patterns, I can see what's being used right now, and I can change my configuration either right here on the page or using a configuration file I put in my repository. This is the most important step to get a fair quality assessment of your code. So make sure to do that, especially if your initial results don't seem quite right. There's a lot more to discover, but this should give you a good head start to successfully track your code health. If you want to dig deeper, check out our great documentation where you can learn about the Codacy API or how to scan your code locally using a CLI scanner. Or just drop us a message. We love talking to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark, and it's good to have you on board. Happy code reviews.